All right, graphing derivatives and antiderivatives from graphs. If you are ready to have your head twisted into knots, that's good. Then you'll be excited for this lecture today. Um, we're going to start here with this example one. We are uh, going to be taking this graph of f and going to a graph of its slope, f prime. Um, and so first thing we want to do is look at this graph of f and try to um, extract some data. So at this first point right here, um, we can see that this starts about halfway in between negative 4 and negative 3. And uh, when it's first getting going, it looks like um, that slope right there, uh, going from halfway in between here, going up 1, that's going to give it a slope of about 2. All right, um, coming up to the top here, this is going to be a lot more obvious. We can see that the slope here is going to be zero. The slope then at this point right here looks like it's about one. All right, we can see that slope there. It looks like it's, oh, I shouldn't say one. I should say negative one. The slope here, again, here at two is zero. And then again at this point right here, it looks like my slope is similar to the beginning, it's about two. So let's come over to this graph of f prime and we'll start to toss these points on there. So we said, okay, our slope at negative 3.5 was about two. And then at negative two, we said it was zero. At zero, oops, whoa, run away. Sorry about that. So our slope here at zero, we set our slope at zero was negative one. Our slope at two was zero. And then our slope again at four was, oops, not at four. At 3.5 was positive two. Okay, so we'll sketch a little line through those. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay, let's go on to example two. Um, for these, we're going to be doing antiderivatives. <laughs> so now we're going backwards. Um, so we've got a graph of f prime. We're looking at a graph of the slope, and we're going to be going to uh, a graph of the function. And let's see what sort of advice uh, your notes have for you. So um, make an f prime number line by using the location or position of the points on the f prime graph. Um, and that does not involve the slopes of f prime. And then make an f double prime line by using the slopes of the f prime graph. Um, combine information from both lines to graph f. Okay, uh, and if no starting point is given, you're free to shift the graph vertically. That's kind of key. Okay, so let's start with this uh, f prime graph. I'm looking at a graph of f prime, and I see that my zeros on this graph of f prime are at 3.5, I've got a zero, I've got a zero at zero, and I've got a zero at 3.5. And just to make it clear, right, I'm just looking at the values from this graph. Now in between 3.5 and zero, I'm positive, and after zero, I'm negative. Okay, let's look at f double prime now. So now for f double prime, I'll do this graph. I'll do this one in green, okay? Um, and now I'm looking at the slope, the slopes of this f prime. So for this, uh, for this one, I do see that I've got zeros at negative two. I'm gonna have zero slope there, and I'm gonna have zero slope over here at two, okay? Um, now, before negative 2, I see that my slope is positive. It's increasing. And in between negative 2 and 2, I see that my slope is negative. It's decreasing. And then afterwards, it's positive. Okay. Um, what we are going to be doing now... Um, we're given this starting point of 0, 1. So I'm going to put the point 0, 1 on there. 
on my graph. And then we're going to use um, our information that we have. Remember this F prime graph is going to represent my slope. And this F double prime graph is going to represent my concavity. So from my initial 3.5 value, I should be increasing and concave up until 2. Um, so I'm going to be increasing and concave up until about 2. And I'm going to start at this 3.5. So I'm going to be increasing and concave up. And then once I hit 2, I'm going to be increasing but concave down up until I hit that point of 0, 1. And then back at 2, I'm going to try to put that point at 2 at a similar place. But I'm just sort of putting that there. Um, now I should be decreasing and concave down until I hit that point. And then after that point, I should be decreasing and concave down. Or sorry, concave up. And I should have points here at the 3.5. I'm going to redraw the last leg of this. 3.5. So it should have something like that. Um, and we should note that uh, other than uh, 0, 1, uh, my, the other points are not specific. All right. Let's go on to... Uh, example three. Now we're going to be uh, going both ways. We've got the graph of f prime, um, and we're going to use that to sketch a graph of f double prime and a possible graph of f as well. So now we're doing it both ways. Um, now they have provided us a number line here. So we're going to start with this process that we did um, in the first graph. And for this f prime, I'm just looking for my zeros, and I've got one zero here at negative 2, and I can see before negative 2, I'm negative, and after negative 2, I am positive. Um, after that, um, I'm going to be looking at my f double prime, so I'm looking at the slopes now of this, of this f prime graph. I'm looking at its slopes, and if I look at this, this is kind of subtle, um, but this part of the graph right here is a parabola, and I am going to have a zero slope here and so I'm going to toss on this zero uh, slope here um, but either way um, to the left of it I am positive increasing and to the right of it I am positive and increasing uh, but we are going to want to keep in mind that our, our concavity on our F graph should sort of uh, flatten out at that at that zero point okay Um, so for, uh, this graph initially, I don't know what I actually should put on there. This concavity, um, the concavity up until through, uh, zero is actually it's actually neither. It's actually zero. It should be a it should be a flat line. 